Why was that the... Um, never mind, I guess. I don't know how it got there. Hey, everybody! We are live now, everybody. How's it going? Can you hear us? Anybody there? Well, in, um, I won't up update quite yet. Let's see. Hello, Gavin, KC9, Goldfinger Parallels. Kiko, Kyle, Theoden, how's it going? Look at the live chat. Oh, hey, guys, yeah. how are you? How's everybody this Thursday night? Matthew, how's it going? Jason, Wheels Collectibles. Hey, Jason. Dan, Floyd fan, how's it going? Yeah, we are early by a couple minutes. Yeah, we're a little early. We like to get, you know, Timely. get get on a little bit Flipping early cards, and how's it going? Venom Soldier warm up. So I won something from Striker Auction. Oh, nice! What'd you cool. win? Ben Baucamp, how's it going? Scott, how's it going? Hey, Ben, we're doing well. Hey, Scott, how are you? Yeah, I guess I don't think Bowman made it into packaging yet. No, Bowman so is... So you're not going to find any retail. No, but you will find... Uh, so Tops released something last uh, yesterday. They're going to do a Bowman first uh, sort of packaging. I forgot to tell you about this, but I read about it on Twitter. Uh, Bowman is going to do some kind of first uh, packaging product. So you know how they have the Bowman cards and the Bowman first. I guess a few years ago they did this. They're going to come out with it again. And I think maybe the Montgomery Club people are going to have first shot at it. Um, so what is it? It is, I don't know, it's some kind of a pack. They haven't released the details. Oh, so it's just Bowman first, though. It's going to be Bowman first, right? Okay, I yep. got you. I thought you said, like, I thought when you're, like, I was either that or I was thinking because of the production delay, you're talking like a first off the line type thing. It's going to be kind of like that. Yeah, okay. like a first off the line sort of thing. Yep. Great Lakes, how's it going? BCBA cards, striker cards, how's it going, Kyle? Um, ooh, that's nice, Jason. Um, best thing that you found after the player became good, Jordan Alvarez, that's nice. Um. Uh, probably um, we found a couple weeks ago we found an Acuna bat down that we thought we had but we couldn't remember if we had sold it or not um, and we found it in some random box so that was pretty cool <laughs> your wife is convinced you're Tim Allen because uh, you're from Michigan <laughs> <laughs> I, I am I'm actually Tim Allen we don't collect baseball cards I used to star on Home Improvement now that I'm washed up in my career, I've resorted to this right here. Yep. Yep. Pass this time. is this is one of the boys from the show. Yeah, I was a slave on there for a while, but <laughs> not anymore. Move past that. That's funny. Um, how cold is it in Michigan? It's kind of cold. It was like, it's not super <laughs> cold. It's forty. It did snow. A I don't even remember when that was. The days it kind of mixed up. Yeah, there, it snowed a it snowed little bit like yesterday. And, um, yeah, it, it's been cold. We've had a few mornings where it's been quite cold. So, um, How about where you guys are? Is it cool or warm? I saw somebody wearing a short sleeve shirt on their video, and they look very comfortable, and I thought, ooh, that'd be nice. But That'd be nice. Like, our card room right now is 61 degrees. That's not, um, we don't have the AC on or anything. No, That's we have not... our heater going, so if you hear, like, this fan thing going. It's our heater. It's definitely our heater. Yep, mm -hmm. so. Well, we're just going to hang out here for a little while tonight. Thought we'd jump on, go live. 60 degrees and... Missouri. Yeah, 66 to 38. That's cold. Toronto is cold. I believe that. 66 to 38 today. Burr. San Diego, upper 70s. Oh, San Diego. Now Boo. that's the place to be. So, whereabouts in San Diego are you? 
Luke Luke was born in San Diego, actually, and um, in Escondido. What's up with the pro? Yeah, so we're not anywhere near that. That's like um, oh, probably the... like two and a half hours away, three hours away from us, something like that. But yeah, they're, the Michigan restrictions are a little bit crazy because I do like just on the side, I mow some lawns and stuff, and I'm not allowed to do that right now legally because of the restrictions. Like even if you're outside by yourself practicing social distancing, you can't do landscaping work. Um, another one that was kind of weird that she did was that you can bring, like, take out a sailboat, but you can't take out any motorized boat, which is kind of weird. So people are upset about stuff like that. Um, so that's where the protest kind of came from. All right, Thomas, glad you got your stuff. Yeah, a little uh, craziness going on in Michigan. And, you know, if you've seen the news, you saw the protest going on here. Uh, so Mira Mesa was the answer to the San Diego. Okay, so that's by the... Um, uh, naval air, naval air base, I believe. Six inches of snow in Denver. Yeah. So Denver got your fun. stuff. Cool. That's cool. Good. Hopefully, yeah. If everybody, hopefully everybody got their stuff that paid within the last few days from the, yeah, Miramar. Right. Exactly, Miramar. Yeah, San Diego is awesome. We we lived there for four and a half. Yeah, four and a half years. So we were in the Escondido area. So a little bit north. But we missed that that area. So yeah, we are still waiting on your rookie chase pack. Yeah, it's probably I'm guessing that's corona yeah. related because normally like stuff to Canada takes a while to ship, but not yep. that long. So because that's what like two weeks now since we shipped that probably. Yeah, yeah, so, so a little while. Yeah. But okay, it'll hopefully Jason, you'll get it soon. So no restrictions. Bill, how's it going? Thomas, uh, where are you at? I think you at? said Texas. Texas. Carl's bad. Carol's Carlsbad, that's an awesome place. Fort Wayne, father and son from Fort Wayne. Greetings. South of the border here. Waco. Uh, yeah, two to three weeks. Yeah, snail mail. Yeah, it's crazy how stuff can get uh, pushed back so far with Canadian mail from, or I mean, mail to Canada from the U.S. So we're just going to hang out here for a while, guys. Don't have a huge agenda. We got a little mail to show. Got uh, some of these blaster boxes to break open. Those stadium club blasters have been good so far, yeah, too. Yeah, let's see. What oh, do we have? Are, um, oh, here's their stuff. Is this the new yeah, stuff? That's the, the... Yeah, that's, that's the newer stuff. Yep. Yeah, newish, yeah. Um, can quick show this. Just kind of, I don't know how well it'll show up here, but. Got this Bryce Harper gold um, minted. minted. These are pretty rare. They're like 150 some packs, but we've hit like four of them now. Yeah, we've um, hit. Yeah, Cody Bellinger, another really cool looking card. A Chris Sale Chrome. A nice Tatis red parallel rookie. Um, Eloy rookie. Vlad rookie. And then this one, this one was really damaged, but a Nick Martini members only. And I believe those, they used to be numbered out of 10. They're not actually numbered, but they only made 10 copies. I don't know if that's still how that works. They're pretty rare. Um, they're hard to pull, but. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're definitely hard to pull. Um, trying to catch up on the chat here a minute. A Bellinger Chrome, Stadium Club Chrome, sweet. So for Bowman, um, I don't think we've actually ordered any. Bowman we didn't. Yet. We didn't order any uh, Bowman because it was so expensive. The pre-orders were crazy expensive. So we have uh, our guy. I'll show you here, Chase that we buy from, and he has always been giving us really great prices. So uh, when DA blow out our crazy. Uh, we definitely just wait to get a good price from Chase. Um, we have pre-ordered from those places, but we definitely want to support Chase as much as we can. He's a uh, hobby shop owner in Columbia, Missouri that we got in touch with through another uh, channel on YouTube. And so you know, we don't have a hobby shop by us. I think we told you that last time uh, or the last few times we've been on. And so we try to support anybody we can. We have one in, in down in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, Legends, which is a great uh, shop. 
uh, but just doesn't have quite as much uh, wax often as we were looking for. So we, we got hooked up with, with them out in Missouri. Do you guys know there was a baseball card? So, yeah, I didn't know that. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, Reddit pretty much is everything now, but yeah, not super big. I don't have Reddit. I'm not super big into it, so. Oh, uh, so they, 22 for a, a Amazon Bowman. Is that right? It's not bad. 22 bucks. Um, we'll be able to find them around here. Yeah, but, they usually make a lot of Bowman. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can still find Bowman from last year. They make tons of retail Bowman. So I know there's a kind of a craze in the hobby right now. But I think because of the stay-at-home orders, people are less likely and they should be less likely to go out looking for retail. Uh, it's just not a smart thing to do. Um, and so that's leaving the online retailers to really, uh, you know, I think get helped out with sales because people are buying stuff from home, which they should. But once Bowman does come out, there should be a lot of it. Yeah, there'll be, like, I mean, we live in a remote area too, so basketball still goes quick by us for how we only live in an area with like our whole county is what like 15,000 people maybe or yeah, 20,000 people yeah I don't know the people. exact number but yeah um, so not real big at all um, and all of our prism and everything's gone um, instantly but baseball stuff is around usually not too hard to find so yeah usually yep yeah Lou's a great guy for sure yeah Lou's a great guy a great that's a great shop we're hoping to maybe set up and do a show there at some point at Legends. Legends has a bunch of shows. They they were doing them once a month. So, hey, thank you, 4K Sports Cards. Yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. 4K. Everybody, check out 4K Sports Cards channel. Yeah, we have one Meyer, and then we have a Walmart that is a Walmart and another Meyer that are about thirty minutes away, about half hour away. So. Jordan. Town with 500. A lot of collectors. Trying to keep up with the with the chat here. Yeah, Series 1 10s are. Series 1 10s are pretty good. Yeah, they are pretty good. You know, I was in. I was grocery shopping at our Meyer here. I've only been in there like twice in the last month. And they were loaded with those tins. I couldn't believe how many of those tins they had still. A lot of tins, which is kind of interesting. Um, I know some play, some people couldn't even get them when they came out. Um, what was I saw, live near Grand Haven, Michigan. Yeah, we know where that is. It's pretty close. Not pretty close, but we're close about like two hour, hours, two hours away. Like an hour and a half, hour and forty-five minutes. Maybe. About two hours. Really? Yeah. Do you have a website? No, we sell cards on eBay. So we have can, a eBay store. Yeah, you can, um, if you're looking for something specific, you can just ask us on, like DM us on Instagram too. We yeah, look for you. And, there are no basketball cards anywhere. If you, you can find some, you're very lucky. There's like nothing. Yeah, BCBA cards, we just bought a bunch of those actually. We found a bunch too at our layer. 18 series oh, yeah. purple packs. Yeah, yeah, we got a bunch of those. Yeah, we found a whole bunch. And that 2018 is going up in price people are talking about it we've talked about it but a lot of other people have talked about it um so um we definitely didn't drive up the price i mean we have a few followers but not enough to make an influence like that our ebay um i think you find it just by searching um up north collectors you should be able to find it there there you go but yeah, I'll put I'm, gonna, in a, I'm gonna try to find luke's gonna report, put in but... a ebay link for you guys yeah, we greatly appreciate anybody who wants to buy from our eBay store. So just a little advertisement for our eBay store. We, I think we have about 900 cards listed on there right now. Uh, baseball, basketball, football cards. Uh, we offer combined shipping on there. So if you see a card you like and you want to buy another one, uh, we'll give you a deal on shipping. Uh, just don't. Uh, pay for it right away, uh, ask for an invoice, and then pay for it. We'll give you a shipping deal. So usually it's uh, most of the cards are anywhere from a buck twenty-five to uh, three tw or three sixty-five for shipping. The ones for a buck twenty-five are in a plain white envelope. But if you buy a few more, we'll put it in a bubble mailer for you. Make sure it's nice and safe with tracking. Um, and if you buy one card at three sixty-five. 
it's 35 cents per card after that to ship. So we try to save you guys as much money as we can shipping, and we have tons of uh, buy it now or best offers. So just put in your best offer, and you know we will try to work with you on a price. Championship collection football repacks. I tend to get two to three, sometimes four. Huh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, no problem, Jackson. Um, collecting in Zealand. Oh, yeah. In Spring Lake, yep. We do... I'm trying to remember where... I've played a couple of sports against Spring Lake before. Yeah, Spring Lake things. is... I can't remember yeah. what they were. About the played, like, club soccer and... I might have... I do quiz bowl in the winter along with skiing, and I might have done a quiz bowl thing there. I don't remember. Um, growing poor chop sideburns. Yeah, my hair is like growing. Yeah, we got uh, we ordered hair clippers. Yeah, we today, ordered some so hair clippers. So gonna we'll try those out. And, we'll see. Yeah, you could do a <laughs> you know, do an entertaining YouTube video. Do a yeah, you want to watch us cut, cut our hair? Cut our hair. Entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. would be definitely blow up the internet. Probably not. Did you get a hobby box of football? No, we did not. We did not get a hobby box. We've, we don't really buy hobby we've football scaled, anymore. So. We've scaled back, way back on football. Uh, we did this one break because we thought, or we really liked draft, Prism Draft. We did really well selling it last year. Uh, and also, it um, is really hot right now. I mean, football's hot. It's the only thing people are talking about because... It's the, the only draft. sport related yeah. thing happening. So. And most people think football will happen in the fall. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. But um, there's more hope for that than a lot of the other sports. Hey, Bradley Jr., thank you for the hey, donation. Hey, thanks, Bradley. It's awfully nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, how are you doing, Bradley? Yeah, use the Flobie. Um, I had to introduce my family to the Flobie, so if you don't know what that is, just look it up online, and you will find the way to get a perfect haircut every time. Mm -hmm. Uh Hey, current cards. Hey, thank you, current cards. Um, not quite actually. Not quite. Not everybody's paid for the auction. We've had we have what, like one more to ship out, and we got three people that didn't pay it. Yeah, we got a few few people that didn't pay, but most people have, and yeah. So we're gonna we'll do. do the... I think either today or today, tomorrow or Saturday, we'll be doing a video on uh, the actual donation. You better, better off already. using a lawnmower. Probably not recommended to use a lawnmower to cut anything but grass, but all right. Rookie All Star Glaber Torres Independence Day and almost sold it for forty. Yeah, good thing you didn't sell that for forty bucks. Um, so look up, Luke. Look up on the computer. Uh, see if you can find that on Bowman's First Two Thousand Twenty by Top. See if there's anything uh, listed on that. Kind of a hot topic for the hobby. I haven't heard anybody talking about it, but Bowman is obviously delayed, but Tops is going to come out with some Bowman first product. So if anybody's heard about that, make a comment there. Um, but I know it's... Uh, you're on a checklist. Yeah. There's nothing. It's on Twitter. So Yeah, well, Twitter is all the newest stuff. That's not Yeah, good. so anyways, we'll see you. Once we find out more information about that, we'll let you know. But it's just, information's just getting leaked out. Will it be retail? No. It's going to be uh, online only, I believe, through mm -hmm. Top's website. So, you know, have you bought or seen those um, Bowman Sapphire or the... Bowman Draft Sapphire, Chrome Top's Sapphire. Chrome Sapphire, Brooklyn 99 boxes, whatever. It'll be it'll be like that. I think it'll. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna hurt it, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how much they're gonna make. My guess is if it's like those sapphire things, it's gonna sell out immediately, mm -hmm. and only a few people. You're will not get gonna it. be able to get it now. So we'll see. Um, and and for sure it will crash the tops website because mm -hmm. those 2020 Project 2020 baseball cards have already crashed the website. I, I doubt it'll even make it to the website. I bet it'll sell out um, with their membership. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're gonna make some available they, no, they to the will, public. They'll, they'll, yeah, maybe we'll see. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, it will be tough. Um, Sydney. 
But we got some. We got some. CCBA. Do you know the price on them? I haven't seen a price or anything. I don't really know much about it. Um, ten card packs. Let's see. Bowman first edition. Let me look that up. What's the biggest Bowman card you pulled from a blaster? I think last year our biggest Joey card Bart. was Joey Bart Gold Paper Autograph. So it was numbered to, to 50. No, we don't have any Giannis autographs on eBay, unfortunately. And plus, if I had a Giannis, I don't think I'd have it on eBay. I'd probably just have it in my collection. So are you guys getting geared up for, if you're basketball fans, are you getting geared up for... Um, the Last Dance, the Bulls documentary on Sunday, I believe. I'm excited for it. I have the thing pulled up here. Tops is released. All right, so, so here, so Luke's gonna read you all the release of Bowman's first. So let's hear what, what it's it has Bowman to say. first edition to make okay. it more clear, because Bowman's first sounds like yeah. a base card. So type it in there. Um, oh, well, for as Bowman Bowman's first, first edition. edition. That'll edition. help you find yep. it. So if you type in Bowman's first, you won't find anything besides like first Bowman cards. Um, so it's a first edition 2020 Bowman that will be found in 10 card packs soon and was teased by the company on Wednesday. Dear collectors, as you know, 2020 Bowman is delayed due to supply chain issues, but we are working to overcome obstacles and release this product as soon as we can. Like you, we can't wait for one of our favorite products to release. In the meantime, to bring some fun and excitement to our collectors, Tops is planning to release a very limited run of a preview product, 2020 Bowman First Edition. All cards will include one or will include a first edition logo and be sold as 10 card packs on tops.com along with a portion being allocated to tops partners so that's all they said um all right so yeah we'll we'll find out more i guess so that's what they said i'm it's gonna be tough to get for sure that's all i can tell you it's gonna be tough to get but stay tuned how's it going guys How's it going, everybody? Rocking, rocking, something. It's hard to read these names. We we have our phone that we're using as our camera, and so I'm trying to look at the names, and some of the names are very hard to to read. So. Yeah, and we find out some more about that. We'll let you know because that is pretty interesting, kind of a big deal. So yeah, stay tuned. Is right, Scott. Hopefully, we can get some because that'd be sweet to do on the channel. But I don't know if that'll happen or not. Port Huron. This is going Justin GP th or yeah GP three hey, cards. Justin. Yeah, Next so we're, opening. Well, we're actually gonna do. Yeah, no, excuse me. We're gonna do one on the live stream. We're gonna, gonna do some um, stadium, stadium club, club blasters here. So we're gonna open those up in a minute, and we got a little bit of mail to show you. We got more mail coming in. I think Don't tomorrow. Have, like, but to show. yeah, I said a little bit. Yeah. So. Well, <laughs> oh, well, I guess we kind of have to. Oh yeah, we. Oh, what's the other one? Well, you'll 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 tell me what it is. Um, everything behind us is all storage boxes filled with um cards. Cards. Yeah, I blanked for a second. I shouldn't have, but any soccer breaks. Um, we're actually gonna try to start up doing some more soccer here soon. That's one of our kind of plans for the channel. A lot of people may not be huge fans of that, which is totally fine. Um, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Um, but there definitely is some market out there for it, so we might start doing a soccer video every couple weeks. So yeah, do a few of them here and there. Um, probably won't do a bunch of football. We we'll do a, a product here and there of football that we may find interesting, but not going to buy a lot of it. Um, baseball, basketball, we're sticking mostly to that. But in these times, you got to really get creative because there's not a lot of new product coming out so probably not hockey scott we don't really do any hockey besides at the national every yeah. year hockey is a ton of fun we just don't know that much about it and we would i saw opg <laughs> platinum did just come out that stuff sweet. yeah like OPG, opg platinum's platinum. always cool yeah we do have a little bit of soccer yeah man united is my team I see as well. soccer on, yeah yeah we do have soccer on there we've we've actually broke a, a fair amount of soccer for the most part we did a when World Cup 2018 was the last World Cup. Yeah, World Cup. We did Cup. a full case of some of it's on. If you ever want to go back, watch some old soccer videos, did a full case on our channel um, and actually hit a 
very very nice card out of it that's not that stuff but. no i know here's some here's some soccer cards that we just have laying around prism we bought some prism some of it was first off the line and that's from last year so here's one of the first off the line this is number eight the blue shimmer i think it is it says it on the back eight these cards never, I mean, they're beautiful cards, but didn't really sell as well, I think, as what they were hoping for. Um, so there's a few of those cards. They're beautiful cards. Oh, here's one. Not a not a soccer card, but here's a basketball card. Seth Curry. Seth Curry. Like you're kind of done with the soccer cards there, but. Yeah. Um, anyway, we did hit a Cristiano Ronaldo and Luis Figo, I think it was, dual auto. Um, Ronaldo obviously being the bigger of the names. Figo is a good player too. But Dybala, I'm a big uh, Marcus Rashford fan. I really like Marcus Rashford, so he's my favorite. There's the Luke's jersey. jersey. Um, yeah, I'll be shocked if the Nationals go on too. I don't know. I kind of someone just asked about the national. What we think is going to happen? Oh, to the, the national, national packs, yeah. not the oh, national, oh. but the packs. If they don't have a national, they may do some kind of giveaway through their site with them, yeah. or they just don't make them. The, the there's a good chance they could make the packs and then just find. I mean, they're they're all looking for a way to make money, so I'm sure there's they're, they'll figure out something to do. Um, I mean, you could still have the same feel as far as national packs go if, if they let people or, or stores have them and then sell them with boxes. So I don't know. There's there's a lot of things they could do. During these times, you can get creative. And, you know, there's a lot of ways to make money and actually to grow your business And even these hard times. Obviously, people have lost jobs and stuff like that. So, But I think today that sports cards investor, what's his name, Jeff? I can't remember. Yeah, anyways, he has a channel that's really taken off. He said that uh, this one guy uh, got baseball cards uh, out of Atlanta area, and I, try, I don't know his name, but he has a big eBay presence, and he said that his single sales have doubled in the last month. So that's crazy. Our eBay store has done okay, but I haven't listed a whole bunch of stuff on there. I'm just starting to list a bunch more. Uh, so... But the sports card industry is up. If you try to find sealed wax, it's all gone way up. All the prices of sealed uh, products have gone up. Yeah, COVID packs. Um, how's it going, Todd? Uh, not being to football, we're not really either, but Donruss Baker Mayfield Dominators Auto 25. It depends on if it's a rookie card hey, or not. If it's his rookie, then it would be worth more. Um, I'm not sure what Baker even sells for anymore. Best bet would just be to look it up on eBay and try to figure it out because I don't really know. Yeah, the hobby is growing. Yeah, and it, it is great. We, we love to see that. Mm -hmm. It's fun to see uh, from our vantage point, and I'm sure the shop owners like it too. They're they're keeping busy. Um, they say the distributors are really holding product tight and jacking up the prices. So that's not a good thing for us consumers, but it is a sign of health in the in the industry. So that's good. Well, why, why do you say you want to bust open a yeah, few few blaster boxes? All See, right. I don't know. People have asked us a couple times now about Luis Ar Arreas. Um, I don't even know. I don't know much about that guy at all. Um, what happened? Right there. Oh, right there, yeah. There you go. Junk Wax Era 2? I don't think so. No, um, not even close. Yeah, if if you okay, so I grew up in the junk wax era. Well, actually, I was getting older as the junk wax era started. You could find cards everywhere, everywhere. There was not a shortage of cards. You could find them in gas stations and grocery stores, in uh, department stores. You could find them everywhere. And when you went into like let's say Walmart. It wasn't like you had to fight over who was going to get a pack. It was like you had to look through the mounds of packs. It was, yeah, we're not even close to Junk Wax era. Um, oldest box we have? Uh, I don't know. We You have some old stuff sealed. Yeah, not super old, but like. Uh, in the 80s, something in the mid to late 80s, I think. I saw someone ask about Zlatan or Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um,. He does not sign anything. He's not a very nice guy. Um, not nice at all, actually. But 
He doesn't sign anything. Really good soccer player, though. So What? Somebody said something about a blaster. The best, what? Blasters have the best value? Ooh, that's, that's a, a good, good question. question. I would say probably um, Heritage Blasters have sometimes have the best value. Yeah, we've hit some good stuff out of Heritage Blasters this year. Um, that would be my first first one. Series one, you'd be better off buying like five value or four yeah, the, value packs or two the hanger, hanger boxes. The hanger boxes, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of hair, we're going to show the card first that we got. You can show your card they got in the mail today. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, 1971, special year for me. I'll let you guys guess why. But I picked up this 1971 ALK line uh, off eBay. And it's a six. And it's the old flip for PSA. Uh, this was 20, I want to say it was 25 bucks. Uh, so not bad and it the black borders on it make it really tough so you can see there's a little bit of whiting on some of the edges it's obviously way off center left to right um, but it's a six and here's the back of the card so cool it's really cool looking now the heritage set this year was 1971 because they go by all the uh, you know past years and so they're up to 1971 but 71 is the year I was born. So go ahead and do the math. You can figure out how old I really am. And uh, anyways, it was fun to get. Um, yeah, Mr. Tiger, Al Canline, super good guy. Uh, died, uh, when was it, last week, I believe. Um, and so, yeah, uh, but it was fun to pick up that card. Oh, and by the way, everybody, Tom Seaver is still alive, okay? Tom yeah, Seaver is still alive. What, what video was that? Tribute that we said that. Tribute. Yeah. Tribute. I I had thought that in the news last year when they were talking about Tom Seaver, uh, and somehow I think I was thinking of L. K. Line, and then I saw Tom Seaver, and I thought, oh, there was bad news about him, but he actually has dementia and is out of the public scene because his of his memory, um, and so that was sad news. But he didn't die. He's still alive. Oops. Yeah. Um, I said he I said he was dead, not Luke. Yeah, it wasn't me. Yeah, oops. Um, Fraylin, yes, that is my father. Yeah, Luke is the son, I am the father. So go ahead with all your Star Wars jokes right now. Empire Strikes Back in particular. It. PNW card collector, how is it going? Um Target has score 17 football 18 times where 18 Bowman be kind of good huh that's weird yeah i could see that where they start kind of pulling out some weird stuff i'm gonna go and get remember last year when the Mets said he was oh maybe that's why maybe there's all kinds of rumors out there any sisters or brothers i do have two younger sisters yeah, two younger sisters a dog and a bird yep I should bring a bird down here sometime for yeah, a video that'd be entertaining uh, yeah, we'll have to bring our bird down. We have a we have a small bird. Little parrot. His name's Tabasco. You don't diss Star Wars? Yeah, don't diss Star Wars. That's just disrespectful to do that. Who's your mom's favorite? Um me, obviously. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Um Alright, Mark Trumbo, some stadium club. Uh, Marcel Ozuna <laughs> said a couple of players were dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, Lou Gehrig. Um, that's a cool one. When you get, when you guys get a list on your eBay, we'll oh, put it. I know he he wanted. Um, hold on, hold on. Where is uh, Where was his original chat? Um, um, um. KC nine Ku. What card? are you talking about because if there's something specific you can just dm on instagram um because it might not be on our insta hey thanks 4k yeah thank you 4k sports cards yeah Tavarius jackson i guess he was a starter for the seattle seahawks in like yeah. 2008 or 2009 um yeah, i didn't he, know that but. yeah he was and he had pro he had promise signs of promise but mm -hmm. obviously it's so unfortunate uh every once in a while these players die and 
automobile accidents, boating accidents, just like anybody could. Allison Fisher Goodwin card. Yeah, if you have Instagram or if you just want to send us an email, um, you can do that. And we can definitely work something out for that if you're interested in it. Um, Fulton Witz, Nelson Cruz. What's up, the Buff Man? How's it hey, going? Buff Man, how, how are you? Um, and Byron Buxton. We got our friend from Hawaii on here. The Buff Man, go check out his channel if you haven't yet already. That Walker got, Wheeler's sweet. If you guys have a channel on here and you want people to check it out, just make sure you tell, tell us about it in the chat. Matt Kemp Red, Sandy Koufax, Roy Fear for Gear. How's it going? Favorite PC players that we like to PC? Um, hey there, Devers, Rice Devers, Benintendi, a um, whole bunch of other stuff. Devers, Benintendi, who else do we like to PC? I'm blanking because I'm trying to do two things at once. Um, Pedroia, we've got a bunch of Pedroia stuff. IPC yep. Patriot stuff. Only certain people. I don't like super collect the Patriots or anything, but I am a Patriots fan. I, so I'm getting stuff. back into older cards now, kind of vintagey, but not like high end. There's a cool one for the hey, PC. Hey, that's a cool one. Devers. Devers. Sepia. Um, Mike Piazza. Yeah, they just released something about that. I saw that about Roy. Um, just in. Turner about who? Roy Holiday. Oh, Did you what see a, that? No, I didn't. It was something about um uh, it was something about like he was on drugs or something at the time of his death and something oh, about seriously? like a plane thing or something. Oh, no, know. yeah, he died in a plane crash. He said, yeah. apparently he was doing like stunts in a plane on drugs and died. I oh. guess that's what I saw in the thing, yeah. but um it was like an ESPN thing, I think. And David, that David Dahl's a sweet looking. I wish they did more cards like that. Like that's pretty cool to see like their back and then the name number on the jersey. It's a cool card. So well, they kind of do everything with uh, Stadium Club. Rice Aroni, how's it going? Yeah, that's really too bad. Ooh, good luck on those 18 Series Two fat packs. Yeah, that's what I saw too. All right, let's see. This is a second one. So we bought these off of Wildwood Entertainment, and they were ten bucks a piece. So can't really beat ten dollar blasters, especially with Stadium Club, just because they look so cool. So neither of us are from Boston. Neither of us are from New England at all. Which oh, there we go. That's cool. That's cool. Um, we lived in New Hampshire for ten years, but. I think we already have. Uh, maybe I'll leave it. Cause I don't yeah, know I'll leave it. We may, we're we're trying to make the set of this. It's a very. It seems to be a very hard set to make. Um, Is that a thing, Chronicle Soccer? That'd be cool. Oh yeah, they are making it. They That'd are making sweet. Chronicle Soccer. Yep. Usually, I don't know. Soccer is like at the. Soccer, yeah, soccer seems to come out high and then drop. But I don't know if it will now because it is in higher demand. Like that Trevor Rogers too. Hey, thank you, Thriceroni. Hey, thanks, Thriceroni. Hey, check out Thriceroni on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and his YouTube. Make and sure his you check YouTube. Out his YouTube, if you haven't yet. Hey, Thriceroni, how do you like this year's Prism Draft football? We just did a break of it on our channel. I think the cards look awesome. Um, when we lived in New Hampshire, we lived in Jefferson, so easiest thing with Jefferson is just Santa's Village and White Mountains. Um, so that's where we lived. Subscription box, depends on what your price range is. If you can buy the Rookie Card Explosion box, that's a super fun one for baseball. If you're into, like, football or basketball, um, the Boom Box or Brothers and Cards would be the place to go, so... That's a cool card. Jackie. It Jackie, just Jackie Robinson. Robinson Day, yeah. so. Just Jackie Robinson Day yesterday. Yeah, I know. That is kind of funny, Thriceroni, because you'd think that, because I've seen now every blaster I've watched has had an auto in it. Um, and you'd think that if they put an auto in every one, they'd advertise it as a selling point. But instead, they advertise the blue parallels, which pretty much nobody cares about. So. Um, <laughs> 
I think that's kind of funny. Yeah. But I've seen some decent autos, like not huge player names, but some like nice numbered stuff. So. Look at the Clydesdales in the background there. That's pretty cool. Sammy Sosa. Wildwood Enterprises. All right, Todd, we will definitely let you have first shot at a Tua if you're interested. We don't uh, favor NBA team. I'm more of just like a fan of players. I don't really ha have like a big affiliation to a team. So The ALK line is a six. So a six. You can see it's way off centered. But for that era, it's not in bad shape at all. It's not. It's not really discolored. Yeah, um, centering's way off. But. Centering is way off, and I'm sure the corners aren't great, but it's Thanks, not. Jason. It's not bad. Um. Yeah, we haven't pulled to a. The K line. Well, we just bought it for what, like twenty five dollars, I think. So. Yeah, twenty five bucks. Yep. Off of eBay. Hey, thank you, four K Sports Cards again. Definitely check them out. Starlin Castro had a good year last year, didn't he? He did. A couple more packs here. So, yeah, Thriceroni was saying how it's weird, those football cards. Yeah, they, yeah, it is weird. Somebody else said that on the channel, that um, they do come with an auto in each one, but there's not advertised is that at all. Hey, the World's Enemy, how's it going? Hey, World's Enemy. World's Enemy bought some cards off our ebay store i believe world's enemy did you get your cards off uh, uh from us that we sent out from our ebay store hey city how's it going oh yeah todd i saw that on your on a comment you made that you're interested in that card so there's ben and tendy yeah that's sweet tony gwen that is cool Red foil. All right, cool. The world's enemy, no problem. Yeah, we Good. actually we haven't pulled an auto yet out of any of this stuff. No, I We've think they're quite, they're tough. They're tough. They're tough. I'd say, and Stadium Clone Blasters is probably about one out of four is good. Eighteen, really? Eighteen bucks a pop? That's a good deal. For what? Um, eighteen Chrome value packs. Tops Chrome. Uh, who has them? Jason, he just bought some, pulled a green on But that's a good set because Glaber and Acuna are both in that, so that's some good stuff. Yeah. Connor, how's it going? Thank you. Yeah, so there's our stadium club. Nothing too crazy out of there. Big hello from Canada. What part of Canada are you in there, Connor? Gwen was a great player. Yeah, I grant. Gwen and Puckett, two of my favorites from that era. Love those uh, two players. You know, when we lived out there, we never made it to a Fisher Cats game. That was something that we were yeah, talking about doing, yeah, but never, never made, did it, make it. made it. We to weren't a really Cat game. huge baseball fans um, up until like right before we moved, kind of. Yeah, so. probably. Yeah, probably like a year or two before, and yeah, we were still a couple hours away from the Fisher Cat Stadium, so it wasn't like it was close. Yeah, Chipper Jones, we want to saw. I don't. Uh, no, yeah, don't we so. don't. We don't have, have much, much Chipper Jones at all. We don't have much from that era. Um, even like modern stuff, I can't think of anything. New Brunswick. Okay, so cool. you're on the um, east side there. That's cool. Newfoundland. Luke's mom grew up in Canada, up in northern Ontario. She's not Canadian, but um, that's where she grew up, and so we have relatives that live in Canada. Some of which are Canadian, some are American, but they're like landed immigrants, I guess. Toronto, quite a few Canadians. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. Our neighbors to the north. Mm -hmm. um, I know Jason's from from yeah, there Jason's as well. From Canada. Yep. Ship some stuff out to him. Yeah, so that's cool. Love the Blue Jays. All right. Yeah, Blue Jays, man. I was I was hoping to see them play this spring here because uh, they look like a fun team. Yeah. Because we watched the Red Sox. Obviously, Red Sox, Blue Jays play a lot of games against each other and uh, don't really care for the Blue Jays stadium. No offense, Toronto fans. But um, it's fun to see those young guys play. 
on, on the Blue Jays. Washington State. The Mariners logo. Makes sense. Blue Jays are they're such a young team too. Um, they're good. Yeah, Blue Jays are Blue Jays are stacked. Um, at least with young talent. Now we'll see how how well they perform. Yeah, so yeah, if you had tickets to a ball game, it, did you get refunded? Did they give you a voucher? How does how does that work? I'm curious about that too. If you had tickets to a baseball game, did they get refunded or did they give you a ticket to a, a game later on or what will happen we'll wait for a reply there ethan h hey uh, ethan stubhub's not refunding interesting oh they're not refunding we might keep those two tins sealed for a while yeah we got a couple yeah sealed ones and then we have a set of all of the, them that are empty oh gotcha jake that's a bummer because if you, yeah south central michigan is going to throw back baseball so they're not refunding them not refunding them yet because they've been postponed oh they've been canceled. postponed right 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 indian season yeah that'd be a bummer like using indians season tickets I like the Indian Stadium a lot. That was cool. We got to go to a game at the Nash, um, yeah, at, yeah, National. Yeah, National. Yeah, 2018. Was um, got to go to a game. Actually got to see the Angels play. Angels were in town. Got to see one of Otani's two homer games. Yeah, it was um, the first. I think it was the first two homer games. It might have been game. his first two I homer games. I think game. it was. Yep, um, pretty sure it was. Oh, gotcha, Kyle. The lug nuts, yeah. Wait, Lansing is, lug nuts. That's yeah. Lansing. I have to go to. A, I've never been to. We've never been to a lug nuts game. No. Well, we will have to go back to a uh, white caps game. Yeah, white caps in Grand Rapids. Rogers Center, the only MLB park for you. Well, that's good. Good to have loyalty up there. very good thing so what about um grading you guys grade cards at all speaking of grading we've got this lk line that's graded by psa uh we have somewhere buried in here this one. Oh, that's cool we have this card the museum's just an old box um it's been open um, nothing in it. Just a decoration, basically. <clears throat> That's a BGS graded cards, and we're gonna be sending in some cards to a grading company that we haven't tried yet. Is SGC? SGC. We're gonna try to send in some cards to them next week, and that'll be exciting. So we'll have cards sent into SGC. Yeah, we've heard good things about it. Um, com apparently, the, you know, the returns are really quick. I mean, we emailed the representative there today, and we got a response like that. I mean, it came back super quick. So yeah, we yeah, I, I emailed them. I talked to Filmington. If you haven't seen Filmington's channel, go check him out. Um, great channel. Uh, so we've had interaction with Filmington uh, the last couple months, and I said to Filmington, I said, "Hey, who did you talk to?" He got me in touch, gave me an email of a guy he talked to there. I emailed him yesterday or today, got back with to me within an hour, gave me the details on uh, how SGC works. Uh, they are ten dollars a card. Mm -hmm. If you submit over a hundred cards, you get a ten percent discount, I believe. Uh, so uh, that's how it works, and uh, they grade autographs and they grade, um, you know, obviously base cards. Uh, their grading system is more. It's like BGS. It's more like BGS. They give out nine fives, uh, tens, and then a ten. Um, uh, what is it's it? It's like a B equivalent of like a black label yeah, BGS ten. But um, it's it's a gold, I think, of some yeah. kind. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but so they give out different grades, uh, which helps in 
the value because with PSA you either get a nine or a ten, and some cards are kind of in between. You know, they're yeah, not so it'll quite be, a it'll 10. be because Jake just said he's sending them in. Um, kind of interesting because a lot of YouTubers, including ourselves, are going to be sending stuff in or already have sent stuff in. Um, and with a bunch of different people doing it, I think that SGC could actually turn definitely more into the main stage um, if a whole bunch of people do it and then it kind of catches on. Um, they seem to be, you know, just as good as PSA or BGS. I mean, you can't really differ. It's just all subjective. So, um, and the slabs look nice. The value is right now less than PSA, but it's pretty close to BGS value for yeah, certain it's, stuff. Yeah, it's very close. Um, and, and, like, I was looking, you know, it costs 10 bucks to grade a card, so it's not super cheap, but you grade, like, a Yordan base you think could get a really good grade. You send that in, um, put your ten bucks into it. I think a Yordan base cards goes for at the most like four dollars. Um, so you get that back, you get a good grade, like a ten or a nine five, and you can definitely make money on that. So yeah, for sure. And with uh, yeah, five oh two. Yep, exactly. Yep. Five oh two. Frank's doing it as well. Uh, yeah, you can for ten bucks a card to grade them. That's pretty affordable. Now you got to figure in your shipping and your insurance and all that stuff. So it, obviously it's a little bit more than that, but. Uh, not bad. The cases are much improved. People do not like the flips on them for the most part up above that little flip there. Um, but I think it's something that you just have to get in your hand and look at. And uh, I think it's something more to get used to than anything. Now, they, they may work on, um, you know, the design of that, that flip a little bit. And that may help. They don't have a, a yeah, they don't have a registry like PSA. So that's one of the... the the downsides but the, to them the but upside to that is it allows for much faster turnaround time because yes. one of the things that takes psa so long that i don't think a lot of people actually realize is it takes a ton of time to register cards into a registry like just having one person to register 100 cards takes a while it's not like you can do it like insanely fast so some of that stuff just takes time um and so that leads to slower turnaround time so well yeah but yeah psa has gone through uh, some real backlog so they're um yeah they've they've gone through some backlog they've been involved in uh, you know accusations of missing uh cards that have been trimmed uh and you know cards that have gone through psa that other people have said have been trimmed so psa is kind of you know uh i think trying to get rid of some of that negative uh connotation and get set up with their grading and get the cards back to their uh, rightful owners because it's been months for several people to get their PSA cards back. Yeah, and Todd, what I'm hoping hoping will actually come from a lot of people sending their stuff to SGC is that PSA will start to kind of maybe shape up their, because PSA is business right now. Um, it's good because I mean they get they make they're getting a lot of stuff sent in, but they can't like their customer service. You know, like their overall like happiness with people. We send cards in. I mean, it's obviously not their fault with the COVID stuff, but even before that, it just takes forever. Um, and so if SGC doesn't take forever, you know, might force PSA to kind of change some things a little bit, which could you know make everybody better off. So. So what does it mean, a trim card? That's a great question. So uh, a trim card basically means somebody has taken a card and cut it with a razor blade or some sort of tool to make it a better grade. So to cut the edge, uh, to make the edge of the card look better, to make it look more centered. Uh, people have doctored up cards by painting them or adding color to them. Um, they've done all kinds of things to make cards more valuable and then send them into grading. Um, and especially with vintage cards, they'll they'll press the corners, they'll do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I like the black slab too. Black slabs look sweet. Um, yeah, and I think it definitely, that's what I was saying, like the, comp the amount of competition that I'll add if a bunch of people, like these are people like I know Phil, I saw Mike O was sending in and he has like, you know, a ton of cards that he's sending in. So that's a lot of business that would be going towards PSA that's going away from them. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they do. Um, we'll see. Yeah, so that's <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll try to do a video uh, before and after, so we'll show you what cards we're sending in and then we'll you know, show your reveal as they come back. So, yeah, we'll see. It should be definitely interesting. So, 
we're kind of curious to get back we've never we've only ever sent one card to grading before our PSA order and we don't know what grades our PSA cards got yet um, so we're kind of curious to see how we are at like looking at examining cards because we don't really know yet are for total garbage or not we we'll kind of find out right so. right yeah we don't know so we're gonna find out we we may have uh, a bad eye for grading definitely possible AJ Green, Neon Green Prism Auto, number to 25, 125. Wow, that's so awesome. Is it a, a Georgia uniform? Did an AJ Green play for Georgia? I wonder if, I think there's a rookie AJ Green. Oh, maybe um, it's a rookie AJ Green. I okay. can't remember. I saw him in a mock draft. Isn't he pretty good? T someone ex tell us about AJ Green. I don't know. <laughs> Might have to learn some case cracking skills. Pair of players and some screwdrivers. Well, yeah, yeah, it's definitely. I don't. We don't know either. We're we're novice at best. Mm -hmm. For sure, I think we did an okay job, but we'll kind of find out. So, yeah, we actually just ordered one of those um, magnifying light thingies. So. What's the been both your favorite baseball products this year in terms of design? I like Heritage. Heritage is cool, uh, but of course that's just based off the seventy one design. I think Flagship looks halfway decent. I it's like not, Gypsy Queen. It's not design. my favorite. Gypsy Queen probably is so far the best. Inception was was decent. Um, or tribute, tribute are sweet too. Yeah, so. tribute are yeah. Where are tribute cards? Those are beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's what exactly it's going to be up to collectors. So, if collectors think that SGC are just as valuable, then SGC stuff's going to go way up. So, it'll it'll be interesting. These are our tribute cards. If you guys have any tribute base cards that you want to sell, let us know. We're trying to, well, we're going to see if we can't make the set of this. I don't know if we can, but we'll, yeah, we'll see. Somewhat affordably. But. So, they're beautiful cards. These are all just base. And then there's the Juan Soto. So our box we just got hammered on. It was horrible. Yeah, it was not as good far enough. as value goes. But it was fun. The cards are are beautiful. Yeah, exactly. They are grading in general is all subjective. So it's definitely interesting. It's actually interesting that grading even carries that much value just by itself. Um, like PSA and stuff, how much value, like how much more uh, PSA 10 is than a base. It's kind of interesting. Well, so. I think when it comes back to resale, it makes a lot of sense because you can go on eBay and buy a 6 yeah. and know that the card was at least looked by as somebody and they decided it was better than a, you know an other card that was a 4 or 5. So... It helps, because if you're just on eBay looking at raw cards, it's very hard to tell. So I think grading does have a big place in the hobby. It's just a matter of trying to get it to be Better. you know, more transparent, I think. Yes, yeah, that's what we've heard, too, with um, SGC. Glad that you told us that, Rage, because it does seem, from what I've heard, that they are the toughest on cards. So. Um. Cause I've seen that too, like their vintage stuff, like their vintage grading skills, really cool too. With how they do, like the on some of the stuff, at least they used to the hundred card, the hundred like out of a hundred, they'd oh, um, grade it. Yeah, I don't know if they do that or they or not. they did it on older stuff, like sixties and okay. or, or seventies earlier, that where they'd be like a. I saw one in a cardsmith break, just a couple like today actually. I was watching and they had like a catfish hunter. 1969 base card that was an SGC 95. Huh. Um, and I've seen that a lot before. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, exactly, Todd. That is good. Yeah, so what um, What are you guys opening? Have you found anything? Have you bought anything online uh, that, you know, older boxes or singles or... What have you guys been picking up? Have you picked up anything? Or are you just saving your money? Um, you know, trying to, you know, just kind of be more cautious. Yeah, look into SGC then, uh, Jason, if you're looking to grade some cards. Um, PSA is good, but it's just going to take forever to get your cards back. 
Yeah, because we, I mean, obviously the, you know, COVID stuff, but we sent our cards in, I think we just looked at it, what was it, like, Feb, late January, I think? Yeah, um, late January, I think. And they got sent, and then they, they opened the thing, like, March, like, 30 or something. And then they said and we'd then, probably get them back in late May, and, I'm, and that was now, before and now it's probably going to be 4th of July, July yeah. at best, so... Picked up a Mike Trout update. Wow, sweet. That's a cool card. That's sweet. Yeah, we'd love to get one of those at some point. Boba Shet, Acuna Bat Down sold 500 ungraded. That's crazy. Are you serious? Yeah, that's crazy. I remember when that was like a $80 card. Optic Basketball? That's cool. Fat Packs. Sweet. Yeah, I know. It's tough to know what's going to oh, happen. Oh, baseball. Yeah, optic baseball. Sorry. Oh, baseball. I thought it said basketball, Yeah, I thought it said too. basketball, yep. Um, more picky. Because that's kind of what I've been doing, too, because stuff is up a lot. And the way, I mean, like, I pay a lot of attention to the stock market. Um, and it's so volatile. And stuff, is. it's going to, like, it's we're close to collapsing. So if it does, I don't know what's going to happen to the card market. It's interesting. But it's actually gone up, so. Yeah, Heritage High Number Minor League or High or excuse me, Heritage Minor League is a very fun product. I pulled a Bichette Auto. Oh, sweet! Wow, that's a cool card. We have um, that's sweet. So we have this that we're gonna add to. We're gonna add this to our random pack videos. Oops, nice. LK line just fell down. Sorry, L. K lines <laughs> card. Took the bread and ran. So we're gonna add this to our random pack videos. What else do we have to add to our random pack videos? Um, we got a tribute. How you pack? Yeah, a tribute. Um, we got another pack. Inception box to throw in. That stuff's gone way up for no reason. Um, this is like a thick pack. I think this has a relic in it. Is it? I don't even. Yeah, probably does. Or, I don't know. Maybe has a we'll patch see. auto. Anyway, so we have that to add to our random pack videos. We got one more pack of this. So, that's going to be fun. We got fun random pack videos coming up. No, we're not buying basketball hobby. It's impossible. It's way too much, so... So I'm Yeah, <laughs> Scott, it is kind of... That is the weird thing about it. Um, I'm going to tell everyone a sad story um, involving these hanger boxes real quick. Um, so I was at school or at ski practice, I don't remember what, and you, he went to, father went to Walmart, found these. That would be bought, me. I bought, went to Walmart. Yep. Bought most of them. Most. Keyword most. Well, 75 to, no, 90 per, 80 percent of them 80 percent okay so we left 20 percent which would be i don't even remember how many there were like, like four four or five boxes yeah. these things now are worth i don't even know what these go for anymore but they're crazy compared to the they're over a hundred dollars it's insane yeah. um, anybody know what these hanger boxes go for right now in the secondary market <laughs> i'm thinking of selling one actually so, because they're just so have? they're so high oh, right we now. We have a few. We have six. six? Of them? Yeah, six. We have six hangers. Yeah, it might be worth selling one. And we have a hundred one ten. Three mega boxes. That's sweet, Bradley. It's a good card. Yeah, we're looking to pick up some weird hobby boxes, too. Just kind of been looking around. Maybe some soccer stuff. 110. Yeah, 80 minimum. That's a bummer, basically. We we had that. Didn't we have that, too? Um, where we bought something that had, like, crappy cards shoved into it at one point. Yeah, we bought... Uh, it was one of those, like, championship... It was, like, a repack yeah. box, um, and it had just... A, crap but we also picked up i can't remember how much we paid for this i don't know if you remember but we picked up um this before it skyrocketed um it was probably 125 bucks 
And then we also have an 1819 one that we picked up for 120 bucks, and those are way up too. So we got this at um, a Meyer, I think it was, and you could tell the cellophane on it was not right. It was very, very rough and uh, not the same feel as the normal cellophane on these. We opened it up. Somebody had put in cards that they autographed themselves, and they were all junky cards. They searched the packs. They took out the good packs. They resealed the box and, and brought it back to Meyer. Meyer must have gave them their money back, and Meyer put it back out on the shelf. So you got to watch it for things like that. We're not opening the prison basketball, no. Definitely not. No, Definitely not opening it. We're not. Um, but if anybody you know wants to pay hundreds of dollars, we'll send these to you. <laughs> no, but really, I think I'm going to list one or two of these. So if you're interested, check out our eBay store. Because they are right now super hot commodity. And with people getting their stimulus checks back, probably is a good time to sell at least one or two. Yeah, we saw that that Jordan stuff's going nuts. We don't really have any Jordan stuff, unfortunately, but some of that stuff's crazy. Yeah, I know Great Lakes. It's kind of special that someone would take that much time just to do that. But <clears throat> yeah, no, we're sitting on them. Uh, most of them. The only reason why we'd sell some is because we have quite a few of them. So yeah, we were able to pick up a few, and you never know where the market's gonna go. Um, it, you you can see things change rapidly and there's sometimes there's a ceiling for this stuff i mean it only can you know some of it can only go so high and, and once it gets to a certain point there's only a few collectors that are going to pay that much for yeah, it Yeah, exactly um xfl a shot that'd be interesting x i watched a couple of xfl games it was pretty fun to watch hey i got an idea uh-oh What's the idea? All right, here we go. We got Jordan cards right here. Maybe we can pull a Jordan out of these babies. So this is 80, 97, 98. What's the other one? We've got another pack. And we got here. these other ones here, What's too. This? So um, 94, 95 clear. If anybody wants to buy any sealed packs of these, we have quite a few of them. So let's open up some of these. These are all stuck together, so... I'm gonna open one off off camera and just unstick the. Cards yeah, we're gonna. The they're they're uh, pretty fun. You know, they are literally bricks. But they are like literally bricks. Somebody said you put them in the freezer or something like that. Should we try that? Make it. We should make a whole video where we try that. Maybe we will. I think we should. I got a Dell Curry. There's a Chris uh, Mills. Mm -hmm. No, let's listen to that. Oh, there we go. Steve Kerr. Wrong, they're, wrong they're bull. Not on our but eBay store. If you want them, though, just send us an email and we can work out something for them. Or maybe we'll just rip them and try to find some Jordans to grade, send them to SGC and get. They're actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, yeah these are. Rodney Rogers. That guy was pretty good. The Denver Nuggets. Craig Elo. <laughs> this brings me back. To yeah, the Patrick. old days. Oh, Patrick, Patrick Ewing? Is that? It looks like a wino. Hey, there you go. John Sally when he played for the Heat. Got a Glenn Rice. I don't know much. Glenn about Rice Sr. The problem with these cards is you can easily wreck them because there's a Robert Ori. Another one of these. Try get Jeff Jordan. Malone. So these cards, I have no idea what these cards go for sealed. I can't imagine a whole bunch. Should we try that? Stick them in a microwave for 15 seconds? Probably not. Probably not Here, a good idea. Put who them in, the in the world is this dude? Pete Myers for the Bulls. Don't this know him. Look cool card. Look at this guy's head. Who dat? Look at the... Like, who is that? Um... Keith Van Horn. Oh, Keith Van Horn, yeah. I think his head's like squished in. There's another John. I don't know. Did I get two John Saleys in there? 
I'm only halfway through my pack. It takes like five hours to open these because they're so stuck together. There's another Del Curry. Um, whoa. So, if anybody's interested in sticky cards. You got some sticky cards. There's a whole bunch of tins by us. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of tins. Oh, here's a good one. David Robinson. I wonder if these cards have any value at all. There's a Larry They're Johnson. Cool That's a good card. A Dan Marley. He was a good player. Brian Shaw. I got a Jordan. You did? Yeah. Sweet. We pulled a Jordan, everybody. Jordan. Catch 23. Classic jump. I'm going to show real quick. So. Classic jump shot. What was that from the these packs? The up, Fleer, upper deck? Upper deck, yeah. SGC is starting a pop report. Thank you again, 4K, for the donation and for that information. Um, that's cool. That'll definitely help their value out. So here's another pack. This is an upper deck pack. Toss me another one of those packs. You want a Fleer? Whatever there is, yeah, over there. We got to pull some... Uh, We gotta pull yeah, some, some wiped out. Jordans out of the stuff. We're not selling any tins right now because we have the ones that we have are for like we bought like the entire like um set of tins. So this the is set. Antonio Daniels. Don't know him, but he's obviously has some ups there. Walker. Uh, there's another Del Curry. Steph Curry's dad. 2018 holidays, not a bad buy because Acuna and Soto and stuff. I want to show this real quick. This is kind of entertaining. Look at this. They're all stuck <laughs> together. Rick. Yeah, those cards are really stuck together. These upper deck ones aren't too bad. There's a Tom Gugliata. Johnny Newman. Um, Sh Detlef Shrimp. There's a John Stockton, so him and Malone. Got a Robert Parrish. Robert Parrish, one of the uh, Celtics. Oh, uh, here we go. It's another Jordan. That's cool. That's probably worth about seven hundred dollars. I bet you this card is worth seven hundred dollars. What do you think? The way Jordan cards have gone up, this card is probably worth like about maybe 70 cents, but I have no idea. That's actually a cool card. That is pretty cool looking. So it's an insert. Dennis Rodman. Yeah, it is about half the value, but you could you could still hit some cool stuff, so. Alright, that's enough. Fleer. I'll did you did you, you get anything? Camera. Yeah, Luke's gonna open one on camera. Did you get anything out of yours? I'm gonna open up one of these upper deck ones. You gonna have a fun oh, with this? I gotta. Yeah, you, you, you gonna get, give me those? Yeah, you gotta have fun with that thing. Twenty one dollars Canadian. You could probably resell those for more. You got this guy, Star Attractions, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, good player. There's another Del Curry. I already got this back. I got two. Coaches. Hey, thanks for BCBA. Thanks for hanging out. Ooh, there's a good one. Kobe. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's a sweet looking card. I wonder what what year 96, 97. That one's in pretty good shape, isn't it? Oh, this it? is the second year, so. Is that really? Yeah. That's actually a good card. It's not bad. It's in good shape. There's a little bit of like a spot on the back, but interesting. Um, Kirby's. There's a Steve Nash. Here we go. Here's a here's a Luke Longley. So speaking of the Bulls documentary, I got myself a Luke Longley out of my pack, Fleer pack. Um, 97 NBA night. 
Here's another one, Nix. There's a Michael. Catch 23. Wow, sweet. So we're pulling some Michael Jordans out of this stuff, guys. Interesting stuff. Up North Collectors merch. That's a good question. I was actually just talking about that the other day that maybe we should make. I don't know if anybody would be interested in that or all, at all, but we could just make some t-shirts and sell them like, you know, close to at cost ship if people would actually be interested in something like that. We made a couple for ourselves a while back, but Yeah, I think didn't you have that on in one of our live feeds recently? When I talked about Oh yeah, I wore it, yeah. Yeah. Just make more shirts that look just like that one. If anybody would be interested in something like that, I have no idea. I don't. You know, so where maybe. where are those cards that we pull? Where is the um? Right there. I have to look some of these up once. See if they're worth anything. I have no idea. This one could be. Kobe. Don't know for sure. Well, then that I don't think we pull any base cards. They're all like inserts of Jordan, but. Pretty cool out of some garbage packs. Definitely not too shabby. Oh, not too bad. Well, hey guys, we're going to probably sign off here in a little <laughs> bit. Um, but we just want to hang out with y'all. We know these are interesting times to say the least. And uh, just kind of have fun to hang out with you, talk to you, see what you're up to. You know, laugh, joke around. It's all part of the fun, so. Yeah, so we could see, yeah. A couple people said they're interested in the t-shirt, so maybe we will do something like yeah, that Yeah, Yeah, maybe point. we'll do something with the, a shirt down the road. Um, you can even do something, just, you know, throw one in, like, a rookie chase pack or something, too. It's just, like, a yeah. bonus or something, just to have around. Probably be good, so. We'll have to see about that. Do we? Maybe. Do we trade? Uh, at so Sometimes we do, but not, not real often. Yeah, it kind of has to be something that we're looking for, interested in. Um, thanks, Kyle. Hey, thanks, Kyle. We appreciate you guys watching. Yeah, take yeah, care, Connor. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys, for hanging out with us tonight. Yep, thank you, everybody. Hopefully you're doing well. We'll be posting some more. Oh, yeah, UNC stickers. We could definitely do yeah, those. We could definitely do stickers. We so, already did that once. We could definitely do them again. UNC hats. Hats, maybe, stickers. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, see you guys. Hey, see you guys. Y'all have a good good night. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, chatting with us. And stay safe and healthy and be smart. We'll see you soon. We have a rookie card explosion box that we'll be opening. We have some, a, a rookie chase video that we'll be posting. Um, maybe oh, so some more football. Um, we have... Uh, some other, I had something else that we were going to do, too. I can't remember now. We were going to do soccer, but... Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. We're, we're, we're probably that. waiting on some soccer. So we have some stuff we're doing. We got stuff in the works. Stuff going on. So, so don't worry. If you haven't seen our football video, you like football, check it out. <laughs> yeah, Jake, those could be a hot seller hats because of lack of haircuts. Just Yeah, hats, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. The hats could be a, a big seller. All right, you take care, everybody. All right, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. We'll see you soon. Have fun collecting, guys.